Yo my people them, CFC Willis Blue back with our video and as you can see man's got special guests up in the place I'm Scrum, my bro and this is the match preview for the Chelsea vs Man United match at Old Trafford tomorrow Big game, big, big, game. big game and you man are going to have to lose if you That's man, what you hope If you man don't We're beat us We're securing our top 4 spot If you, I'll be real with you Draw or win <laughs> against you but we're definitely going to match you up we're at home I'd be real if you man don't beat us, you're crap. Because we are crap. Yeah, as long as we secure wins. the draw, that's yeah, I'm fine with that, but we're gonna win. I don't mind that. If we can get us draw, that's calm. So that's calm. And more time we get draws anyway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's gonna be interesting. But as you man already know, in the in the match preview we we'll go through the team news, terms of injury updates, then we'll give our preferred lineup as well as giving some stats for the match and our score predictions. So <coughs> On that note, team news from what Frank Lampard said in his press conference, we basically have the same people that are injured. So, um, N'Golo Kante is out. I'm not going to ask you. N'Golo Kante is out. But yeah, N'Golo Kante is out. So is Benoit Badiashu. So is Ben Chuo. So is Reese James. So is Mason Mount. So is Armando Brogio. So is Mark Cucurello. But the good thing is that Joel Felix, after missing the last game, he's in the squad. So that's some good news for us. I'm going to give it to my bro. Tell us your team news. As far as we know, all of our players are looking fit and healthy besides the three long-term and um, long-term injuries that we have, which is the boy Marcel Sabitzer. That was a serious blow. Martinez, even bigger blow. Even hard for you. And Donny van der Beek. Yeah, no, ain't, ain't yeah, nice. major. You know what I mean? But three long-term injuries out for the rest of the season. All looking to be back healthy, recovering for pre-season, and to get ready for um, all the pre-season matches and to play the start of next season. And that means everyone's looking fit. Bruno, McTominay, Rashford. Well, McTominay and Rashford were looking like doubts, but they've both been training excellent. Especially McTominay come on in the second half of our last match so he looks fully fit to go and yeah everyone looks ready for this Chelsea match second to last match of the season but a big one because we need at least a draw to get this Champions League spot um, confirmed well you man don't have our injury problems you man even though Martinez is a big injury and he, you do miss him 100% you man's injury problems ain't nothing like ours so you guys are the favourites going into the game as you should be and if I was going to be honest, like I said before, if you man don't beat us, then you man ain't that well. You man ain't doing that good because we are crap. We are 11th in the league and we've lost more. Could have so been. Yeah, we could be 12th right Further now. Worse, I think, yeah, see if you lose both your last two matches, I think we can finish 13th if the team under you wins. Yeah, that could potentially be the case. But I. But, it's, but it's, it, do, it doesn't matter fam. Friday the 13th It doesn't matter Do you know why? The last yeah. time we finished Town for below We won the Premier League The next season So you mm. don't So don't Don't doubt my team Because that could be us Next season Could could all the show We'll see But nonetheless Now we're getting to Man's preferred lineup For the game And in this preferred lineup I'm going to put um, I'm going to put Edward Mendy on goal And then Right centre back Trevor Chalabar, central centre back, Thiago Silva, left side is centre back, gonna go Wesley Fofana, and then left wing back, gonna go Lewis Hall, right wing back, I would prefer to play Ruben Loftus Cheek in the centre mids, gonna play Carly Chikuri Mecca, as well as Enzo Fernandez, and then in the attacking, I want to see Mikhailo Mudrik, I want to see, actually wait, no, I want to see Raheem Sterling, I want to see Joao Felix. I don't want to see Noni Madwicky. That would be my preferred lineup. As I believe setting up with five at the back will make Man United struggle to penetrate us because they do have a good attack. But our defence is what holds us and makes us and makes us better. So we need to nullify their attack and then hopefully with Carney attacking Enzo as well in the midfield, they can supply um Felix. Sterling and Madweki who potentially hurt Man United's back line because the one thing about Man United is that UMass defence don't really do that well and I hope that De Gea has his 
it ha- has one of those massive games tomorrow. You better well. tell that to the other day here, seventeen Premier League clean sheets, but we don't mm-hmm. phase out. Well. It doesn't matter, fam. The Hold biggest howler, the biggest howler in the season, go probably goes to him, bro. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. Golden Glove winner. Aye, well, is he actually won it? Yeah, he's confirmed. He's won that. Oh, yeah, because Pope's out for the next game. That's why. Well. So no, no, even that, he's got seventeen. Them lot got like fifteen. Uh, okay, <laughs> but they have and two games remaining. Two. Oh, you know. No, they don't. Okay, they've got one. And my boy's got two. That he can then get nineteen. So you see, if he gets nineteen, that is a ratio of one clean sheet every two matches in the Premier League this yeah, season. Yeah. Let him get that. So, yeah. Yeah, man. But nonetheless, though, can go for your preferred line. My preferred, yeah, the Golden Glove specialist in goal, of course, Deb De Gea. Me, obviously, you know we set up on a 4-2-3 one always. I'm getting right back. Wambasaka, deadly. Um, Centre-back, Varane, paired with Lindelof. Then, we're going to go to Luke Shaw, left-back. We're then going to go and hit the defensive midfielders. I'm going to play Casemiro and Eriksson, simply because... That duo, they work fine together, even though I feel like Ericsson slows down play a lot, but we want to work with it, especially because it's Chelsea, really. Um, left wing, Rashford since he's Quite back. Amazing. Rashford since he's back. Um, Cam, Bruno on the right, Anthony, and up top, Marshall. Seems like a decent squad. Here's a decent squad still. Here's a decent squad. But you, man. You might have won a lot of games this season, probably being a lot of, probably nearly everyone in the Premier League, just not man's team. Oh yeah, we every team, no, not in the Premier League, but every team, every Premier League team that you faced. No, but every Premier League team that's in the Prem, yeah, we have beat them at least once this season. It may not have come in the Prem, but we have beat every team in the Prem this season, besides these lot, because we've only played them once. You only played them once. You only played them once. You should have won all, the, all, the, all the other you teams. You played them game. twice. We played them three times and stuff you in man. all comps and that. So you man, they should have been. We've got a W game, over every team. We're about to go get over these lot. No man. So make sure you tune no. in for tomorrow. Yeah, but on that note, I'm gonna go through some match facts in terms of stats. And it says Manchester United are unbeaten in their last ten Premier League games against Chelsea. They've won three and drawn seven. They've never gone eleven. They've never gone eleven without defeat against the Blues in their league history. Only Man City and Liverpool have won more Premier League away games against Man United than Chelsea six. Though the Blues are winless in their last nine visits at Old Trafford, drawing six and losing three since a one 0 win May 2013. And you know who scored that goal in May 2013? The last time we won at Old Trafford. No, I was just making jokes. He done that one. One matter. One. One matter. He scored that goal that day. Still bad boy matter. Chelsea against Manchester United has finished as a draw more often than any other fixture in Premier League history. Twenty six different draws. Twenty six different draws. Each of the last five have been drawn, with only Aston Villa and West Ham seven. Birmingham and Liverpool 7 and Brighton and West Ham 6 end the level in more consecutive meetings. Each of their last each of the last five Premier meetings between Man United and Chelsea have been draws. Man United have never drawn six consecutive league games against an opponent, while Chelsea have only ever done so against West Brom, eight between 1921 and 1927. So some mad stats and if you look at everything, it doesn't bode well for Chelsea because it's bringing us a lot of bad moments. The only good thing we can talk about is when we last beat United at Old Trafford, which was in May 2013. <coughs> Do you not know how long ago that is? That's 10, ten years. years. That's 10 years. Ten years. That doesn't mean in all competitions can we beat you in other no, competitions at Old Trafford, but in the Premier in League. The prim, we ain't really good at that so, so, not, so nonetheless, United, as I said, you guys are the favourites going to the game and you should win, even though it doesn't mean that you will and I really hope you don't because I don't want you to be chatting to me. It's never you. confirmed against any team that you play, it's never confirmed. Like, so That's why, top of the table, when Drew, 
three, three with bottom of the table. <laughs> well, when he was top. Yeah. You know what I mean, Arsenal. But <laughs> yeah, um, it's how it goes, man. This why it's football. It's why we love it. It's the Premier League. You know what I'm trying to say? It's never, no underdogs ever fully ruled out. Everyone's got a chance. Everyone's you just got to capitalize on your chances. That's all it is, still. And based off all of that, now if I'm gonna give a score prediction for this match, I'm gonna go with a one-one. The one one draw still. I mean, it's so hopeful. I mean, we'll see. A one one draw still. I don't necessarily see that we're going to win because Lampard's tactics don't necessarily make us the best. And we've won, what, one of our last seven or eight games with him. It's peak. A coming can come up against you guys where you, man, have to get something out of this game to, to secure Champions League football. And your team overall this season just has been better than ours. You don't have as many injury doubts as us or injury or people that are out so every role you man are the favorites and more likely more people will be saying that you guys will win but i'm gonna say it's gonna be a one-one draw but over to you what's your score prediction no it's never gonna be that no no they're here 18 premier league clean sheets this season that's no. what it's gonna be no it's not you know what i mean and then we're gonna score. go face the other west london clubs we'll score. and make it 19. yeah, yeah, yeah. One nil win over Fulham. You just better hope that <laughs> Mikhailo Mudrik doesn't come on and beat out. Who? Um, you heard me, Mudrik, the same guy you hate. One more time. The same guy you hate, you diss all the time. Has he even scored this season? Tomorrow. 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 He's gonna add one more goal involvement to his. What's he got? One assist. No, he's got two. Two assists. He's gonna yeah. three goal involvements. I think don't try, bro. Nonetheless, Let's though. See. Nonetheless, it's going to be an interesting game and make sure that you check out the watch along mm-hmm. and you're there for the match reviews. So you ain't going to want to miss this one. You ain't going to want to miss I'm that. on his neck. And He's not ready for this. You better be ready for this. He ain't ready for when my team scores first and takes a one nil lead and I'm going to be chatting to him. You man ain't going to lead in, any, in the match tomorrow. My team will have the lead. You might going to equalize like you did in the last game. Then all you can do is just say, oh, at least we didn't lose. That's what it's going to be like. Okay, that won't be the only thing I'll be yeah. saying. I'll be saying Champions League. Yeah, say yeah. But, but nonetheless, my bro, thank you for coming on the channel. Mm-hmm. And remember, make sure to check out the Watch Along tomorrow, starting at 7 30. Check it out as we go through the team news, and we, we'll listen to the commentary as well as get the reaction after the match. But thank you guys for watching the video. Check out. Check out all the other content and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Redis Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea. Night. Thank <laughs> you.